Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Paranoid Android Q for Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is an unofficial build and of course with the latest December security patch and the kernel pre-build is ice cold R6. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, Paranoid Android or AOSPA is a very old ROM and it's really great. Uh, very old, I mean, I have used it since uh, Lollipop on my olden device and you can see the Android version is 10, Paranoid Android version Quartz 1 dev, so it's still in development, it says it's not a stable release. And you can see the security patch is 5 December, so yeah, almost it's the latest, now January patches are been merged into the sources. And also it, the build is not that much, like, uh, latest, it's, it might be the January 1st week build. And uh, kernel is ice cold kernel and this is great for performance. But yeah, in terms of battery, it's not that great. I will explain that about that in the later part of the video. So guys, starting with the home screen, as you can see a beautiful wallpaper by abstract wallpapers. And yet yeah, they have the app inbuilt and it's the app is available on Play Store. So you can easily install it. And also pro version is available. And you can see it has official AOSP wallpapers. And you can see all of the classic AOSP wallpapers, the older one too. This one, which was in Oreo, I guess there's just the uh, Speta built. And you can see all of the AOSP, uh, A, AOSP A wallpapers are present and you can explore some more wallpapers there. And you can see all of the apps, like those apps were just uh, AOSP apps, but now I've installed the Flame G app, so it replaces all uh, apps into Google apps. So that's why, uh, yeah, the normal apps are not visible. And you can see the settings here, the normal one. And yeah, about phone you already have gone. So now let's go into the display and you can see uh, normal things. No extra stuff is present. Here we have the theming, dark theme, accent color, headline, body font and icon shape. Then let's go back into the battery. You can see the normal stuff. You can enable disable battery percentage from here. Then going into system and going into the gestures, you get here the normal system gestures and here you have the screen of gestures, but there's nothing present inside. So yeah. And uh, here also have this playback control so you can long press the volume down button and it will just increase uh, sorry it will just uh, forward the next song or you can just go through the songs and all uh, front or back so yeah you can do that. So guys the default camera used is the MIO camera and yes it works perfectly fine so you can see it can click a good picture here yeah, and the quality is good uh, just like the MIUI you can see yeah okay quality here. But yeah, you can uh, like just use all of the modes here that which is the most important thing. And also Gcam support is present because enable uh, camera 2 is already enabled. So yeah, you can use the Gcam and MI you can. Now guys, AOSP is stable for the stability about the source and a good support. So about uh, this ROM which is still in beta, it's a really great stable ROM. And it is in beta because there are some like ROM issues, not device side issues, but ROM issues as you can see. Uh, double tap to wake is not working. So, and the reason here about the double tap to wake is not working, it's because the off screen gestures uh, here, which I already showed you, you can see the screen of gestures are present. So, the developer has to add overlays into his device tree so that the uh, ROM builds and you get an option to uh, double tap gestures for lock screen or any other stuff like camera and all that stuff. So, yeah, that is uh, not present because of a developer and uh, yeah some lags and i faced a uh, normal boot loop it was not a boot loop it was like an infinite boot loop but i just got recovered easily just uh, rebooted the system again by going through the recovery wiping dalvik cages and all so yeah i did that short thing and it was rebooting fine again so yeah these are the small types of bugs some lags and minor stuff is there also the ice cold kernel is good for performance but the battery is not that great i just got a seven hour screen on time with a, a one hour usage uh, sorry with a one one day usage and that was just a normal usage with some of the gaming but you can see i don't like game now that day my uh, friend was gaming so yeah I did not game it in and he also played it for a minimal time also the phone heated i don't know if it's because of the, because of the kernel or something but yeah the kernel performs better that's the main thing and pubg hd is also supported so yeah if you are a pa fan please hit the like button also uh press the dislike button if you don't like the rom and yeah if you are uh, if you like the video please press the like button if you not press the dislike button also subscribe uh, for more videos uh, if you want to see some new roms or gsis or something else 
yeah please uh, note it down below in the comment section if you want to see something else about this also gcam and all but i'm just searching for a stable gcam where all of the functions work so i can make a suitable video so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah this was a short little video on paranoid android or aospa for a redmi note 5 pro wired or the redmi note 5 ai and bye bye that's it i hope to see you guys in my next video